Look, look at Finn's hat. Look at you. Do you want to say good morning to everyone? Good morning. This is a beautiful Sunday. It's yeah. really quiet. It's really quiet. We okay. couldn't make up our, our mind if we wanted to go to the market this morning because the markets are really, really good over here. Mm -hmm. But we decided on Gordon's Bay. Gordon's Bay, yeah. I don't know. That's what. But you that was found, the plan. That was the original plan. So let's yeah. see how that goes. I think my plan's good. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just see say you. good morning to Harvey. Okay. Where are they? Say good morning. Good morning, YouTube people. How are you doing? Good. Good, good. My teeth are growing key. <laughs> and tea. <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Can we have a picture of the dog? Okay, you want to take a picture of the dog? Yeah. Why do you want a picture of the dog? Because I want to remember what he looks like. We've got plenty of pictures. How he looks when you have the video. Yeah. I've got a photo album, we can take that. <laughs> Let's go on the You're very quiet this morning, isn't it? It's very quiet this morning. Let's do our scenic drive. Mm -hmm. One of the dogs is Maybe he wants to go to the beach with you. Would you want to come to the beach, Zuma? No, my dad, because he's following us. Do you want to come to the beach with us? That'd be quite cool. He likes the beach. Where is Zama this morning? That's Zuma. You can come if you want. You can come to the beach if you want. <laughs> Ew! It made this lump of money. Wait, he's coming to the beach. That's fine. You're coming to the beach. He's coming to the beach with you. Finn, he looks like a horse on, next to you. You look like a horse because it's so big. You do? Yeah. Very sweet. Oh, there's. He's walking that way and his brother's on Zama. Zama. Good morning. Do you want to come to the beach with us? Are you not my friend today? He's so. He's shy today. Yeah, he's like he, you haven't given. You haven't given him any meat lately, so he's not your friend anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't give. That dog, then he just goes crazy. Yeah. All right. Come on, then. Let's go. Come on, Fee. Let's go. So, see you later. You want to show everyone what happened to the rims on the car? Hey. <laughs> so, we went to see one of our friends uh, in the CBD, left the car there overnight, and someone stole the hubcaps. <laughs> People here are something else, I'm telling you. You can't leave anything lying around. And they were even strapped on, weren't they? Yeah. And the guy took all the hubcaps. Or oh, female, I don't know. Who does I'm, that? My assumption is guy. <laughs> Who does that? Exactly. Hubcaps. They, they took Not off. Even ribs. Hey God, they took off four. <laughs> so, you need to go find some hubcaps, don't you? No, otherwise, I'll get seriously friends at the. Uh, rental company, you know they hold a big deposit. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like a thousand pounds. Seriously. They take first excess. I don't know, but I don't know how it works, but I'm not taking the risk. Yeah. Mama, can you put my seatbelt on? Yes, baby, I can. Okay, buddy. Okay, say so see you at Golden Space. Come on then, buddy. <laughs> see you later, Zuma. We can talk now, Finn's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Come Finn's on then. We can talk now that Finn's in the car. Exactly, Come on, quiet. Finn, you're going. Okay, you stay, we're going. I'm leaving without you. I thought Mummy's Mama was do doing it. Because you want Mummy to do it. Come on, I'll do it. Okay then, come on. He's, he's coming out looking like Tony Montana, isn't it? Yeah, man. Okay, guys, we'll see you at Golden's Bay. You rushing across the main Laid eyes on me I remember cause I noticed You turned your head to really see Now you've been busy Walking that same old way So you can't see me
Driving, uh, we're gonna just answer a couple of questions that you guys have been asking on our vlogs because it's not gonna be possible to do a QA, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. like it's time and um, it's just not possible. So, we're gonna try and do some QAs as we're driving and showing you the scenery. But we because, had, um, hang on one second, uh, because some of you guys want to ask questions, but when we're out and about, it's really windy, mm. so you can't really talk because you can't hear because of the wind, like blaring in the background and then at the same time I want to show you the scenery so sometimes you might get bored of the music so what are you gonna say so uh, someone was asking a question on one of the YouTube videos where they mentioned that or not really a question someone said something about how lovely they thought South Africa was or Cape Town yeah I'm gonna turn it and um, yeah. and in the end uh, uh, the one that someone replied to that person saying, "Oh yeah, I love Cape Town. I love South Africa." Sorry, guys, that's my uh, direction. Um, they love South Africa, but the only thing they didn't like was the fact that they f they felt like black people were a second-class citizen. Yeah. In this country. And so we've been here for about six weeks now. And what's your feeling, babe? I mean, obviously you can see that. Uh, Especially within Cape Town, and I can't speak for other towns within uh, South Africa. But obviously, um, the Caucasian community does still have a, a stronghold they run within things Cape Town. Yeah. yeah, but um, I mean, I guess that's just how it is. You know, what I mean, like it was a lot. It was a long time that um, black people were suppressed, didn't it, yeah. within the country or ethnic people? Mm. But um, I mean, when we've been here, I haven't really, I haven't felt like any um, uh, like people have made any sort of differences with me I mean I had a friend that visited and he said in the CBD he kind of felt like he was being served late or it was a bit slow but then I tried to say to him look Cape Town He's slow. everyone's slow like we went to Nando's and the three black girls that were serving us they were just um, talking to each other and it took them like five minutes to get one strawberry uh, ice slush puppy yeah and they were actually just standing there talking to each other I could see them yeah like they're so laid back here so I said don't take that as a or oh, maybe because you're ethnic looking mm. that they think you're like maybe they're discriminating against you that's it but then um, I think they had a couple of other incidents maybe that stuff still does go on because you're talking about it is like I said a dominated it is very dominated isn't it in yeah. uh, Caucasian community within uh, this um, but um, I, I, do you know what it is? Sometimes I think you can also start looking for problems yeah. because you know the history that's here. That's it. So you 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 can have your guard up a bit too much mm. when that's not actually happening. Yeah. And you can start thinking that oh, did that person just treat me different because I'm, you know, yeah, because yeah. you know the history here. Mm. But in the day, maybe that person didn't. That's just you overthinking things. And yeah. So you have to like try and be very um, what's the word? Open minded. Open minded and just yeah. chill out a bit. Yeah. And, um, my take personally on the whole thing is I definitely feel that black people here are definitely treated as second class citizens mm. and I can definitely see the difference because like even with uh, with the whole Winnie Mandela thing dying and one of the guys talking about the land ownership and stuff like that and I was shocked to find out that only black people own only 4% of land in South Africa when they're the majority I mean that's questions right there where is white people on I think it was like 70 percent whatever so segregation and all that stuff is still here right on however on personally with the kids and stuff like that I don't feel like we've been treated 
differently. I don't feel like we've encountered anything like racism or anything no. like that. But still, uh, equality is definitely not equal. <laughs> and I still feel like segregation is definitely there. Even when you go clubbing or you go to the clubs and things like that, people go to their own clubs. So you will see like black people in their own clubs and uh, colored people in their own clubs and white people they go to their own they don't really I mean, mix as such you have that in but, the uk as well but i but don't not to this extent but especially this is ridiculous like yeah it, over here you just it's not the damn thing to like go to a like you see the odd like yeah like a white person at a or at a, a black club or a mixed race club or, yeah like it's not down in it like yeah it would be like it's really like, weird how people <laughs> don't really mix it like we're, yeah. in London, we're in the uk we're not used to that no people um People actually, uh, when I go to clubs, everyone's there of yeah, every culture. Matter, I'm sure yeah. everyone can relate. Yeah, yeah. So over here, as I said, people uh, stay in their own bars and clubs by the looks of it. And town-wise as well, mm. it's still segregated, like a dominantly white areas, dominantly black areas, and things like that. But I think it, sometimes it takes. I don't know how long it takes for change to happen. Okay, yes. And for me, I think it's because like. Um, if you go out, let's say to a coffee shop, or if you go to like uh, the supermarket, it's only really the black and the um, coloured people serving you. There's not really any white people working in those jobs. So, and those jobs are not well paid. They're very underpaid. I think it's sixteen. Is it seventeen or sixteen rand an hour, which is like nothing. One pound something an I hour. I think it's even less. I don't even know what they get. Yeah, it's like one pound an hour. So. How is anyone gonna be able to actually save up and buy some land on that sort you of can't wage? Come up, basically. That's ridiculous. You can never come yeah. up. Yeah, the only people who are probably gonna actually be able to buy land here is like mixed race or coloured people, as I call it, or black people. It's probably people from abroad because there's a person here, especially in Cape Town. I mean, they even I say mean, like. I mean, you start your own business. Yeah, people that's in the way to go. Uh, from in what, what we hear is people in Joburg and yeah. places like that are really killing it. Basically. That's it, like black people, they, they are call, like. And they call it new money. Yeah. And, and these new money guys are killing it. And they and don't mind showing it. And they're so, loaded and yeah, they're showing it as well. That's it. So I think that's the way to go, start your own business. But, but another thing we learned was that people of the, uh, say, um, a coloured background or whatever, uh, they will um, really, if they earn some money, they'll spend it. Yeah, they'll, and they'll it spend it in the clubs yeah. and they'll spend it big like everything will go on a table they'll have nothing at the end of the month that's it and they'll just spend it there whereas uh we i mean i don't know i think the saving culture is going a little bit whereas, yeah because it's very expensive here mm. and it's very that, that, because the pounds because the pound and the dollar and the yeah. currency is so devalued people don't see any value in saving no people just whereas in the old days saving was normal yeah like when my parents no. or when i was like say 15 years ago 20 years ago mm. But now the currency is so devalued, people think, how am I gonna, what is the point of me saving? Sorry. It's like, what's the point of me saving if um, I wanna buy a house, tomorrow it's gonna be worth 10 grand more and all I've saved is five grand, so you've already lost <laughs> yeah, yeah. money in it, do you know what I mean? Mm. So. And another thing that I, I found as well is, like with the whole saving things, like pe people don't save, but because I know somebody is gonna jump in on the comments and start saying, why are you saying colored people and all this stuff, here in South Africa, colored people are mixed race mixed people, race, yes, and they're called right. colored people. So if you come here and start saying mixed race people, people are probably gonna be like, huh? What's so it? yeah, they, say black people, they call themselves colored. Yeah, they? so they're called colored people because I, mean, I know someone people. is gonna jump in in the comments and start giving their two cents. And black people are black people, so that's the difference. So when you're here talking about colored people and black people, that there's a difference in white people. So South Africa. As I would still 100% recommend it to come and visit and see this place because it's absolutely amazing and absolutely stunning. We, we love it here more than words could say. Yeah. Like literally, I think I was reading one comment before and he said South Africa chooses you or Africa chooses you, we didn't choose Africa. And I think in our, in our sense, Africa has definitely chosen us because when we came here 10 years ago, we fell in love with the place and we're here again and we've fallen in love even more and the kids love it here and even Finn was saying that uh, he wants to live here <laughs> so that just goes to show that how amazing it is so yeah so right now I think we're almost near Golden's Bay and another thing we can get over is these mountains oh they're just amazing 
Yeah, they're everywhere. They, it doesn't matter where you look. There's they, mountains everywhere in the, the Western Cape. The, the bigness of them is ridiculous. They are just huge. Like this mountain here. They are in front everywhere. Of us. So if you pass that one, there's probably more a few miles down. Oh yeah, yeah. Sticking out. There's so many like peaks and troughs mm, here. That's like it. Like it when it comes to the land mass, it's weird. It's, it's it's really weird. It's incredible. And it's beautiful everywhere. Yeah. And so like this mountain is like absolutely huge and amazing. That's why I think people put up with like uh, not making as much money in Cape Town to. Whereas they can make more in uh, Joburg, oh, and yeah. they'll stay here because the lifestyle is so much better. That's it, and that's another thing with Cape Town. It's very, very relaxed. It's almost like being in a holiday town, which is a holiday town, really, isn't it? And people here just like take your time. Like when we needed the internet sorted, it was just like no one is in a hot rush, isn't it? It's just like everything is slow. But in a way, that's what we also wanted when we came here. We wanted that this slow lifestyle is no but, but we're quite lucky that the people that we're renting from they're they're very proactive and very oh they are but it's they, the people and, who they, come they, and, do and they will they'll even get it done privately like they're really good yeah they're amazing like, yeah they won't mess around they're not no. like your conventional oh we have to wait until telecom getting done now they're no, like no, okay no. if they're not coming we'll get our private guys to come to come in it. yeah and they'll pay extra to do it they're that good they've it's been like, incredible yeah we've just been very lucky very very lucky yeah, they're amazing and also someone else asked if we can put a link uh, in the description of the apartment that we're staying in in Cape Town and uh, I, I was saying to that person that they are probably not gonna do Airbnb after us so there's no point putting the link because the whole place is like booked up for like the next three years so I think they just probably tried it out to see what it's like and yeah I think yeah. they're not going to be doing they're it they're not going to be doing it because <laughs> seriously they're super loaded and the money you're paying is probably really nothing to them pennies for, yeah yeah for the hassle really I don't see the point of the I don't see nah because <laughs> yeah, you're living uh, we are, can change. I think we're just very lucky we were got yeah I think God just blessed us I think we just got lucky that it came up and we took it and uh, I think anyone that got lucky enough to get this uh, accommodation yeah will not get lucky no one will, it's very hard to get lucky like that that's it especially with the price that we paid yeah which is next to nothing because you can't even get a shoebox here for the price that we paid no so uh, it's, no we're just blessed like that yeah, God always look, <laughs> look, looks after us so, so look at this beautiful scenery man. yeah so I think we're almost at Golden Spay really aren't we mm -hmm. so guys we're gonna see you once we get there windy isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be not so windy here. Really? That's what I read. Yeah, Gordon's Bay was... It's a windy day today. Yeah, no. Phoenix needs to tell us where we are. Stop putting the clothes up. Where are we? Finn, where are we? Um, do you know? Lawrence Ford Market. Lawrence Ford Market. Lawrence yeah. Ford Market. And Don what are you here to do? <laughs> Put it here, son. Put it here. 